Hey guys, good morning. I don't have any makeup on because I'm just not doing it today because we're just me playing in the forest. But as you can see, it's a beautiful morning over the lock. We've got two views from our house. It's an amazing, so exciting. That's the cottage on the outside, by the way, if anyone was wondering. I love that it's white because we were able to see it from Urquhart Castle the other day. Um, but we're gonna go for a walk today and we're gonna go foraging. And I think we're gonna make a campfire if the rain holds off later. So we need to go for a walk and find some firewood or at least some fire kindling. I think there's enough big logs on the beach, but yeah, we're gonna go do that. <laughs> Vegan hunting, hunting for sticks. That way, huh? Okay. That way, that way. <laughs> How you doing back there, mister? Great. Yeah? No. You look very cold. No, I'm sure. No? Okay. Ooh, good fun, daddy. Let me see that. Oh, it's a big one. Hey, don't poke me with it. Hey, 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 hey. Stop that. Uh-oh, monkey see. Monkey do. <laughs> There's lots of good branches out here. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you gonna take it with you? House is the other way, bud. I guess you can pull it for a little while. Why the heck not? What you doing? What you doing? See how far the rock goes down? Didn't make it to the water. Did you see something, Tomash? You gonna get it? You gonna get it? Huh? You see something? So apparently, Miss Sierra whoa, whoa, whoa. Going on an adventure. saw a chair down here. And they're like, oh, let's go down and find out what's there. Well, it could be like an old, like, I don't know, camping or hunting spot. You don't know. Uh huh. We're supposed to be having adventures in the forest. Uh huh. Back, to her, back, back up to her old tricks, I see. So there's a plane going over right now. Haven't heard one the whole time, but whatever. We were walking in the trail and then we noticed there was all this like old stuff down here. And I think it's like possibly an old dump or something. Okay, I'll be there in a second. Um, and we found some interesting things. Like right there is an old TV. And I know that because it's an obviously an old tube TV. And then the little, uh, where is it? The volume control thingy is right there. How it got there, I don't know. But there's also like, I think some old like ice boxes and like old hobs and ovens and stuff down here. If you look, see? Right there. I think that right there is an old ice box. I'm not sure. And random camping chair. The camping chair is kind of what set us off because we were curious if maybe there was like remains of a cottage down here or something, but I think it's just a tip. Um, and then like right there, as you guys can see, there's like a hob. Really interesting. You never know what you're gonna find in the Scottish forest. There's an old trailer there. I don't know, I think there's something romantic about it, like how the forest just like takes it back. I wonder how solid it still is. Yeah, it's like rock solid, so who knows? Did you guys see that um, current? It could be Nessie, you don't know. Moving. Making all kinds of noise, dude. You know, if you want to see an animal, you're gonna scare them all away. Look at this little squirrel we got here. What are you doing there? It's a pill bug. You found a little pill bug, and what are you doing? I'm making a home for him. Oh, that's really nice of you. What? That's really nice of you. Yeah. So that they could be keep nice and dry. Oh, that's really nice. I made a hole. Oh, like a kind of like a door. Mm-hmm. What's on the side there? It's 
Why? Oh, that's neat. So thought they could climb down. Oh, that's very nice of you. It's beautiful. Look, look. <laughs> so, got some wood here because I want to have a foot campfire later. Little man's a wanting to go camping, so we're gonna pretend we're camping. And our host, the cottage, already has this pre-built here. So we're gonna have a little campfire here. And as you can see, it hasn't been used in a while because of all the foliage growing inside of it. But I'm gonna get a bucket from the house and I'm gonna put water all around it really well first. Although it has rained a lot the last couple of days, but you know, as a caution, and I'll probably pull out some of these weeds too. Um, we'll have a little fire. Tomash, are you having a good time? You look like you're having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you get wet? Hello? No? As you guys just saw, little man and I are waiting in the beach and we found some pieces of old pottery. Um, I don't think it's like from antiquity or anything. It's probably, I don't know, probably less than 50 years old. But this one has a little stripe of blue on it. So I'm guessing someone probably dropped a bowl down here, a vase or something. We collected a whole bunch of pieces of it. I'll show it to you guys. It's really interesting. I know that this is like probably not that big of a deal to most people, but Little man, honestly, at this moment, thinks he's an archaeologist, so it's pretty cool. So I'll show you guys what pieces we collected. If anyone watching has like any ideas of like well, how, how old it is or like what it's from or anything, let me know. These are definitely like ridges. The other one was paint. I don't know. Maybe it was a vase because you see how it has like I don't know. Interesting. And this is like a piece of marble. Or like a piece of, I guess, a piece of porcelain. We just found in the beach. So so much fun. Oh my gosh, I want to stay here forever. We're gonna need a change of address form. Hey there, friends. I don't know why this is not on the Conan Riot, but anyways, um, so we had a little change of plans today. So originally we were gonna wait to have our campfire until around five or six this evening, but we checked the weather report and the rain is now coming a lot earlier. So we're gonna head down to the waterfront right now and have our little fire, it's like 4 p.m. It's fine, it'll be an early dinner. We're not gonna have time to make dampers just because we only have about an hour until the rain starts coming. So anyways, we'll still have some s'mores and some plant dogs on finger rolls, which is like basically a hot dog one for all my American theaters. So walking down now, I was a little bit worried about walking and talking about the camera because it's kind of steep, but yeah, I'll see you guys down there. See what I mean? I wanted to live. Hi. What are you waiting for? Fire. The fire? And cook some sausage. Yeah, we're gonna cook a plant sausage and maybe a marshmallow and dampers. Yeah. Hey, hey, Tomash, get out of there! Put those boys to work. Hey, 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 hey! No, 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 not me. Fight. Yep. Oh dear. Sure. Sounds dangerous. Here's 
Here we go. Lots and lots of water around the perimeter. So if the fire decides to go rogue, it'll be stopped in its tracks. And it burned higher. Should have brought one of those fancy lighters, but it didn't, so here we are. Burning higher. Did you hear the sound? Yeah. Daddy, daddy, fire bug. You're gonna light yourself on fire, daddy, daddy. You might. So what do you think of your first campfire so far? Good. You think it's good? Yeah? We forged the wood. We saved the few paper plates that we brought with us. Because I didn't even think about kindling. I would have brought paper or whatever, but here we are. But the fire's burning, which is a very good sign. So we did it. Yeah. That's good. Eat. Yeah. We can't eat yet. We gotta let it burn down a little bit first. Wait. Let's go. Let's go. Papa? Well, it's burning higher. Firebug in the making over here. Doesn't take much. My oldest child breaking rocks apart. Yes. I'm going to go look. It's wind dog time. Come on, Daddy. Come on, man. Having fun breaking up rocks. I know, you're being grown up. So it's already fully cooked, so all you really have to do is like toast it and make it delicious and warm it up. All right, little terrier. Are you ready for your hot dog? Yeah, here he goes. Oh, he turns around. He doesn't want to share with us. It's just bread, but we had an extra one, so why not? He's on vacation too. And now it's time for pudding. And as usual, mother is always last. <laughs> How is it, boys? It's more delicious. It's more delicious. Delicious! Delicious. Does it taste different than the ones we make in the house? Mm hmm Yeah? The extra outdoorsy smokiness. That's the end of the fire, so now we're practicing responsible fire safety. I was always taught ideally that you should pour water on it until it stops making that like bubbling sound. Um, I've also been told that you should continue until like it's no longer smoking. So let me know in the comment section what you would do. Um, I think it's safe to do it until it's definitely no longer making that boiling or bubbling sound or smoking.